Hey, it's Ernie from Kitchen Tumblers here, and what is more frustrating than putting on your final coat of epoxy, going to bed, and waking up to a mess? Lumps, bumps, resistant spots, waves, y'all, it happens. So here is one way to fix it without having to strip your whole project. Also, if you like this video, please make sure to share it, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe and make sure you turn on your bell notification so you'll know anytime I upload a new video. Your support helps me make more content. Let's get started. You'll need a few things. You'll need a full face organic vapor respirator mask, a Dremel. It could be a cheap one or an expensive one. It doesn't have to be a high um, price one. You'll need some nitro gloves, a safety gown that covers your arms, and a plastic bag to help contain some of the dust. I wanna warn you though, when working with epoxy that you are sanding, you want to be outside. You don't wanna breathe this in, nor do you want the dust to settle on anything in your home. For this tumbler, due to all the lumps and bumps, I'm gonna focus on sanding down those spots and try to achieve some sort of even surface. Um, so you'll see here where I'm using a little bit of pressure and just rubbing over the bumps um, that protruded out from the epoxy. After I'm done doing that, I'm gonna wash um, this really well in my utility sink with some Dawn dish soap. And then I'm gonna dry it really, really well and wipe it off with some alcohol. And this will help get some of the dust that may have settled in those little nooks and crannies that we sanded out. So to restyle my tumbler, I'm gonna be using white acrylic paint some pearl white pigment powder, black pigment powder, and some white glitter. And I'm also using this chip brush. This is the same chip brush that I used when I created the wood grain effect on the tumbler. And I'm using it because I want some of the brown that is on that brush to leak into the white acrylic to give it somewhat of a faded brown effect and it really gave it kind of like a rose looking color effect and I thought it was pretty cool so I went ahead and um, kept going with it. I'm also making sure to um, not cover the decal but kind of touch up on the decal a little bit so that it fades and blends in well with the um, rustic look that we're going for here. I let it dry about halfway and I went and washed off the chip brush and then I came back and went over it again to distress the paint a little bit more. I'm gonna let it dry again. You could use a heat gun or a blow dryer to kind of accelerate the drying process.
Now I'm going to get a brand new chip brush, a clean one, and I'm going to put some white paint back all over the tumbler. And this will help with different white tones and create some type of depth into this crackling distressed tumbler effect that we're going for here. So we have a little bit of that faded brown, somewhat rose colored, pinkish color. Um, and then we're gonna go in with the sharp white color as well. Now I'm going to use the tip of my chip brush to create some large cracks and just kind of scrape around all around the tumbler with the tip of the brush and then you'll see me use the brush and the fingers to kind of blur out those lines so that they're not super sharp lines. I let it dry and now I'm going to apply my mica glitter mix and this is again where I have the pearl white mica powder um, just some white glitter a mix that I made with several different white um, glitters that I had and then the black mica powder that I'm putting in just a little bit at the beginning to kind of give it a um, gray hue but you'll see later on that I'm gonna add some black mica to the tumbler directly now I'm going to use my hands, I'm going to use the paintbrush pretty much all over to just distress this tumbler. I'll, um, some of this will fly off but I'm just, um, I didn't want to use an adhesive or anything to stick the mic on there because I wanted it to be fluid, I wanted it to move. Um, and basically all I'm doing here is creating a little, a little bit of a shimmer. Okay, so like a little subtle shimmer like I don't know like the effect of maybe snow but not snow um, but and it's, it's gonna be very hard to tell in the video but in person you can really see the little shimmering effect especially with that pearl mica powder Now I'm going to go in with the steel pad to distress it even more and just kind of go all around the tumbler and scratch it up a little bit more in some of the areas that I want it to look a little bit more distressed. So remember guys, this is an abstract art. Um, no two tumblers will ever be the same because we're blending different shapes, colors, textures, and we're trying to create an effect um, that will never be duplicated again. And that's one of the fun things about tumbler making.
Now I'm going back in with my little mica powder glitter mix to distress um, some of the areas that I use with the steel pad. And I'm also going to go over the decal with it as well so that it can have a little bit of a shimmer. So I tried to bring it up close to the camera so you can see the, the shimmering and the glitter effect, but it's so hard to see and that makes me so sad. Anyway, this is the clear glaze that you can use. Any clear spray will do. Okay, so I have sprayed it and now I'm gonna let it dry. Ready to epoxy. My tumbler is all dry, so I'm gonna use the quick coat epoxy for my first layer just so I can go ahead and get that dried and I'm going to slap on a second coat of regular epoxy and I'm going to make sure it looks really good, pay close attention to it, baby it, and then I'm going to go to bed. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link all the supplies that I used in the description box below. Also, we have a Facebook group. Please join that group because I can answer a lot of questions for you in there as well. So again, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notifications as well so you can be notified of any other videos that I make. Y'all have a safe and happy holiday and please be careful out there. Thank you so much for the support. Love you guys. Bye.